with that guy's all That is the most complicated Zellerator Linky system I've ever seen. All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? All right, we're back in the shed. Back in the shed. We've done drag racing. Michael's car's broken, bloody Holden's. <laughs> Fairlane's sitting there, beautiful as a peach. Hasn't dropped a drip of oil. Hang on, the Fairlane needs attendance too. <laughs> yeah, the Fairlane does need some attendance. There's a few things that need to be touched up before we go and thrash our cars at the Optima Street Car Challenge. Yes, which, we've got a link for that as well too. If you want a discount as well too, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, get in on it. Let's yeah. slide our cars around colder. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to take the cube, but... Um, yeah, she broken. We'll fix that before it. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're back in the shop again. We're back on the HG. We've got another list of parts on the bench ready to go into it. Just got to keep knocking this car off. Yeah. Um, it's taken a while, but we just got to keep knocking it off so we can get uh, some cool shit back in the shop. But for the meantime, we'll try and get some bulky items done, like getting three pedals, pedals working. We went to Dinkum Auto Parts, I think. Now this guy, apparently I didn't go there, Dad did. There's just old Holdens scattered across this whole joint. Oh really, he's got and, axles? Like, probably would. Like there's apparently everything. Like Dad was like, oh, have you got a rotor button for a 161? He's like, goes through this drawer, boom, pulls out a rotor button. Oh yeah, okay. So we got our little linkage. Yeah, oh, the missing link. We got the missing link. Yeah, yeah that's for the accelerator. Yeah. So we can finish off the accelerator. We can finish off the clutch, we already had this stuff, but we can finish off the clutch. We can finish off fuel, we've got a new um, connector hose, because that one is shagged. <laughs> so we can put the filler neck back in, we've got a fuel filter so we can close up the fuel lines as well. Um, we did get a sway bar, as you just seen up there. This cross member is completely wrong, it's been butchered, so we need to take this out and fix it. We do have new engine mounts, because these are sagged, it looks like a jumping pillow that doesn't have any air in it. <laughs> So yeah, there is things to do. Just slowly keep knocking it off. Yeah, so what our goal basically today is we have one working pedal. Yes. We can easily make two working pedals now because we have the accelerator linkage. So yes. I might do that pretty soon. Yeah, I think we'll do that because we got uh, the bush kit as well for the accelerator. Pedal. Yes, so, so although, two, although two out of three ain't bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try and get the clutch working as well today too. Yes. Uh, and then we're going to try and figure out if we can get the shift that'll work as well too, which is on the yes. column. The column's a bit of a mess. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna see how we can go today. Throw on what we got on, what yeah. we can put on, and yeah. Because yeah. the sooner we can get this thing rolling under its own power, its own steam, yeah. uh, the sooner this leaves and the sooner the Cortina comes in. I promise you the Cortina is gonna be exciting. So It's sitting there ready to go. It is actually ready to go. Yeah. There's no restoring. <laughs> yeah, There's no. no rebuilding. None of this shit. <laughs> it's just straight into performance yes. and making it go fast. Anybody want this, by the way, because um, this is an original glass diaphragm fuel pump, and I know these people want these, so if anybody wants it, I'm assuming your dad doesn't want it. A thousand bucks. <laughs> if anyone wants it, hit us up, and we'll, we'll go from there, because I think it'll be fine. It just needs to be rebuilt. But everyone said, don't throw it out. So I'm not throwing it out. Stock. Stock as a rock. Is this the fast drying stuff? Yeah, it is. Oh, back to the usual hanging spot. I know yep. where it's heading. Uh, good news though for this car. What? Is... Hang on, if you're going to say we've got to throw away, don't... Unless we have it in our hands, don't go ahead saying we've got to throw away. We have a 308. <laughs> is it in it's your hand? It's currently sitting under the bench in my shop. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. A complete throw away? A complete 308 with a Trimatic. Oh, okay. Yep. So why are we wasting our time with this for? Nah, Let's rip her out! Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, that's sketchy. All right, pull the bonnet off, do the accelerator linkage. Then we can say one pedal's done and yep. one to go. <laughs> well, that's out. Just crumbled, man. <laughs> Where did the piece go? Now it forever lives in the King Kong <laughs> toolbox. So this thing bolts to the firewall like that's so. I'm gonna make the assumption that that's a little bent. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna straighten it. And then this bush goes into there, that rod goes into this bush, so on, and then that linkage hooks onto there. Mint. And then we have a working pedal, finally. Yes. And then there's a few more bushes and O-rings and it's got new. Oh, it's got all new clips and everything. Yes. All right, so while Nathan agonizes over what he is and isn't gonna paint, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the clutch mechanism works. Oh wow, you found a lot more parts than I, I know. Thought. So these are going to need to be cleaned up as well too. Oh, that's handbrake. I don't know if that is. 
I'm not sure about that one because it kind of looks clutchy. But it doesn't use a cable though on a pulley system, does it? No, it doesn't, but I, I just don't know. That's strange. We need, we need to look at that. Yeah, it is. You know, after all that searching around, looking for lit photos of how this linkage and stuff work for the throttle, look, I found this photo here which perfectly shows it. In the book we've had this whole time, I just never saw it. So while Nathan is painting everything, getting it all ready to go, uh, and we're waiting for it to dry, we're gonna do the engine mounts. So I'm just gonna get the crane ready. The reason why we're doing these engine mounts is they're pretty stuffed. We had a look when we uh, put the car in and the weight went onto them, they just absolutely squished to about half the size of what they should be. So we figured we should probably fix that. So we've got some new ones. So we're just gonna sling the engine, lift her up, do probably one side at a time, we'll see. And drop her back in. Oh, is it really bad? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So you want to know why we're doing it? This is the um, old one. It's like a marshmallow that's made of chocolate. <laughs> this is the Holy new one. Holy crap, what a difference! <laughs> so there is at least an inch in height, I'd say. What's that, like, yeah, an inch oh, in yeah, height? Yeah. Massive. Yeah, massive. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, the engine mounts are in. Um, it's sitting better now. Much better. So now we've got to just bolt this to there. I'm excited to see this work. And then that goes through that. There's a nylon bush in that. I'll just check the photo. Yeah. Thank you to everybody that sent us the photos. If anybody needs any libraries of HG accelerator systems for these things, we've got it, trust me. <laughs> we've got about 100 photos. <laughs> So we figured out there's like a brass bush that sits around the shaft here, which looks about right. And then that rubber bush there obviously to isolate it. So that looks good. Works good. Now I can bolt it in. Yeah, now we can bolt it in and then finish it's off the linkage. very complicated for an accelerator linkage. I thought the HQ linkage was compl complicated until I saw this. <laughs> Do you want the air filter off? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's easier. Is that holding the throttle open? No, it's holding it closed. It's working! <laughs> oh, oh can you hear that? <laughs> Definitely not gonna sound like that. <laughs> I'll insert a big block noise right now, just rev it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hit the pedal. For the first time, we're gonna have a two out of three pedals working. Uh, it's a little thing. <laughs> hey, look at that! That is the most complicated accelerator linkage system I've ever seen, but I mean, it's it works. It's really not smooth, hey? Like, you can see why people upgrade to cables. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right. Lock that split pin off and... Yep. And then we can um, continue on our day. God, this is the most exciting thing we do in this episode. I really feel sorry for the viewers. I know. We <laughs> promise exciting stuff's coming. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go up now, and we're gonna look at all the linkages there, and see if we can get the third pedal away. Yeah. If we can get all three pedals working, we're looking good. And then we'll have to explain later to Nathan how the, what the third pedal does. He, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he yeah. doesn't know what it does. I so. Like, you only got one leg. <laughs> how, do you, how do you control three pedals? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna split up a bit here i'm gonna start playing with these linkages because there's gonna be a little bit of messing around to do i reckon yep but nathan's gonna tackle this this has been hacked we don't know why uh you'll see when we pull it out what's happened they've taken the plate that goes across the top here and they've cut it off and re-welded it to the bottom here yeah to lower the gearbox we don't know why they did it we're guessing it's probably because someone at one point had a different yeah. engine combo in this gearbox set up or whatever. We don't have another one and we could probably find one but we're not worried too worried about it at the minute. Um, it's probably gonna have to get switched out when it goes to V8 anyways. And yeah. it's only a six cylinder. So I'm gonna cut all this apart and then try and put this plate back up there. Yeah. However I can. Um, just so then the engine is sitting correct level for the clutch and everything. Yeah, so one thing that we hadn't spoken about recently is this bar here, the, uh, what's that called again? The well, this arm, this arm here, whatever it is, up until we just put those engine mounts in, was rubbing against the engine, you can see. 
yeah. was rubbing against the block there. And that was because the engine mounts were so low, that's how we found out the engine mounts were stuffed. Yeah. And also the angle the dangle here is wrong. Yeah. And it's laying way too low. So Nate's gonna do that. I'm gonna start bolting stuff to here and just try and make some sort of a complicated mechanism. <laughs> and we're gonna go from there. If we get this clutch working today, we're gonna call it a success. Yep. And then we're gonna pull the steering column out at some stage, hopefully, and see if we can get that yeah. linkage to work as well. Linkage working too. on that because then all we can start looking at is the wiring and getting this thing running. Yeah. That's what you get when you build any car. So, yeah, you can see there. See how the plate should be there? It ain't. That's what Nate going to fix. Nice. No, the cut is perfect like that. That's where it was. So, I have an idea that is gonna go up there, like so. Something's not right. Why are you hitting there? That's the question. There's nothing to go there. Maybe you should see the cross Oh, and you're ready for the cross in really because cool, I might have to hook up the clutch pedal. Yeah. Nathan, show me what you got while I try and ponder in my head what I'm Show working. me what you got! So, I've remade our um, cross member. I just cut it out and pretty much welded it back up the top there. Oh, it looks good. Pretty easy. I was gonna plate the side, but honestly, this will be like strong enough. I don't know why we didn't do it from the beginning. It would have been <laughs> It easy. took 20 minutes to fix this. I know. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I've got to just cut these bolts a bit shorter so then they fit. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just bolt it in for now. Uh, so, luckily, after trying to track this down for ages, we just found this piece, the missing piece here. And this is what sets our, this is a rat trap system, by the way, I think. That goes in there. And then this guy goes facing up, sort of that way. Oh, that guy's all falling down. <laughs> and there you go. That should be our rat trap system, because now that that's holding that, if I push, pull that up, it requires a lot oh, of force. Yeah. It's pulling the clutch. But that's how the clutch should work. Lovely. So I can pin that all together now. It's it's pretty flogged out and it probably needs a bushes redone in it in all honesty. But as long as it can work for now, yeah. And we can get a bush kit for it and replace it later. Alright, so that is pretty much our clutch. This is a bit close. I might hit that with a hammer <laughs> till it's out of the way. Um, but I think that's correct. So now we've got to pull the steering column out to figure out why it's been pulled apart. Yes. And put it back together and get the shifter working. Yes, correct. So this is our steering column. As you can see, it's been severely disassembled. And now I've got to try and figure out how to put it back together with all the linkages. So yeah, this is going to be fun. My concern is though, I have a feeling... I have a feeling... ...that it's missing a bearing. So that's okay. We'll figure it out one way or another, won't we? One way or another, I'm gonna win ya. I'm gonna get on you on you on you This is what it's like every day in the shed. We don't need to do the same, we only need one. So while Michelle puts together the column, I'm just going to put the filler neck in. We've got a, a hose filler neck kit, comes with a new hose, the old hose was very dry. So new hose, it has a new uh, rubber that goes behind this steel trim. And then I'm just going to button up the fuel system, there's only just a few bit of hoses to run while Michael figures out the column, which I think he's got figured out. I can see him like shaking his head like, I know what the hell I'm doing. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's quite snazzy. And that's the 
Spaß, das ist ja auch richtig schön herzubringen. Alright, well after a hell of a lot of stuffing around, I managed to finally get the mechanisms to work. So now I should have first, second, third and reverse. So that's ready to go. I'm just going to put the shaft back in now, put it all back together and we're going to put it back in the car. We're probably not going to get the linkages actually hooked up to the gearbox today, but it's just a matter of actually just adjusting them. That's going to take a bit of fine tuning, so we're going to leave that. But the important thing is we want to get back in because we want to see if we can get the clutch working. That's what we're going to call for today. So I'll quickly throw this back together. It's getting to that time of day, isn't it? Yeah. It's been a long day. <laughs> the fuel system is all done. The breather tube is now in. It vents up to the... Up in there. There it is, focus. I ran that short little line there. Put the fuel filler hose on as well. I've also ran that. So now that is all good to go. Sway bar is in, which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back here, I was literally just running the bonnet release cable. What? What'd you forget? That was supposed to go on first. Ah. We'll get there. It's well, funny how it works, just these little screws sort of hold the whole thing in place and put tension on it. If they weren't in, then it doesn't work. Which took me ages to figure out. There we go. That's okay. <laughs> Put the wrong thing right then. Okay, good, we still have gears. That's the important thing. Put the washer back on. Where's my steering wheel? And... <sighs> steering wheel. So also, I don't think there is a bearing in the bottom of this. I think it just floats. It just goes to the coupling. Yeah. Yeah. So anyone can confirm that for me, that'd be great. But I can't see it in the diagram anywhere. And I think it kind of makes sense if it was just to float because then it doesn't put any stress on a bearing and then directly to this coupling. It would allow the coupling to take up vibration. So to me it makes sense, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. All right, that should be a fixed column. I say fixed, but I mean like a working column. Working so column. slap her in. I'm gonna wash my hands because my hands are filthy, but yes, let's um, slap it in. All right, well, our mechanism for the clutch is all in. And we got it hooked up to the pedal. We haven't hooked up the linkages for the gearbox yet because that's going to take some adjusting. We're not stressed about that at the minute because we'll do that a later date. We're running out of time. We literally have to stop right now because I've got to go to work. But the clutch mechanism is all in. We thought it all works. It's hooked up to the pedal, but when we pressed the pedal before, it's not really pulling the clutch enough. It just slams to the ground. And just, yeah, the pedal hits the ground and stays on the ground. And we're not exactly entirely sure why that's happening. It's like there's not enough travel in the rod so we think we might have to do a little bit of investigating to figure out what's going on, but we're not exactly sure what's going on just yet. So we'll show you what happens when my lovely assistant presses the clutch here. <laughs> That's it. It just hits the ground. And it doesn't really travel very That's far. That's not even mean. See, usually it would spring back with the, the engagement of the fingers of the clutch. Yeah, and it's but not But I don't even, even think it's touching the fingers. It's not even doing that, no. Yeah. It just slams to the ground. So something is off, something is amiss. We don't know exactly what it is, but we're probably going to have to come back to it another day to figure that one out, I reckon. Unfortunately. Yeah. Which is a bummer, because we really want to get three pedals. But, as we said at the beginning of the episode, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to wrap this one up now, because i got to get to work. <laughs> uh, in the next 10-15 minutes or so. So, Nathan? Yeah, that's it, I guess. Probably need to start running some wiring and stuff next once we figure out that clutch pedal. Yeah. Hopefully you guys will tell us what's wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all right, we'll fix it. Anyway, slowly getting there, slowly, slowly. A little bit of things getting ticked off. We've got fuel buttoned up now. Get a radiator in it and stuff like that and hopefully get this thing fired and get it out of the shop. But if you have liked this episode, make sure you do like and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure you go to the website where you can buy some merchandise. And if you aren't already a Hackshot Garage member, make sure you are a member because we also do Club Reg. For monthly giveaways and stuff like that, we give away tools and stuff. Until the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Until we figure out what we're doing next. Mm. We've got a really, that clutch is a bit of a bummer. So that hopefully... clutch is really annoying. Um, I feel like the simple solution, right, would just be to extend that rod because it's not getting enough engagement. But. The more yeah. we extend the rod, the, it changes where the pedal sits. Yeah, exactly. And the pedal looks like it's in the right position at the minute. So yeah. it's... So something is amiss. But it's not getting... Yeah, anyways. It's not... It's not touch... It doesn't even feel like it's touching the fingers of the clutch. No. So no. something is wrong. 
Anyway, I'm sure someone will tell us what is wrong with it. Yep. But until the next episode, where hopefully we get this thing one more step closer to firing up, make sure you stick around for the next one. I like the use of this um, homemade split pins. <laughs> the nail. Yeah. <laughs> At least he didn't use a bullet head nail, he used a proper flat head nail, so yeah, at least exactly. nothing come back through. Look at the bright side. Can I take your workbench that you're working on there? Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, beautiful workbench. <laughs> Here, boy. What's, this, what's it on that side? I don't know. Which, which, what's, which, <laughs> what's going on with this today? <laughs> is it tab up? I think it's tab up. Yeah, tab it? up. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh, you know what I, rec I know what I, I need to wait. I know what I need. We need to ditch the clubs because yeah. you don't wear them. You know, all that effort I put into putting making those magnetic clubs. You Just don't the wear constant them. drip tray. Yeah, no, a baby bib with a little catcher on the bottom, <laughs> or a bum bag with like a big funnel. Look, I'm not Spider Man. You know, like can't expect the world of me. Definitely not Spider Man. <laughs> Yep. Sha dude. Sha sa dude. Look at all the cobwebs. I know. My worst fear is right in front of me. I know. It looks like <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, what's his name? The spider. Yeah. I don't watch Harry Potter. Yeah, you do. I don't. I only watched the first one. Michael's got a Harry Potter room dedicated to it. <laughs> like, there's a life-size Harry Potter wax statue, everything. Like, <laughs> There's a train as well. You know the train? <gasps> Nine and three quarters, the sign hangs. And if, to go into his bedroom, you've got to walk through the brick wall. Well, it's got like a brick wall um, like drape over the door. Oh, do I? Yeah, and he has his little cart. <laughs> well, the secret's out now. <laughs> <laughs> they believe me, for sure. <laughs> I, d I just don't know. That's strange. We need, we need to look at that. Yeah, it is. Hey! <laughs> yes, we've been working. <laughs> we've been working together for too long. <laughs> yeah. uh.